Hey everyone, welcome back to your yet another JavaScript, intermediate JavaScript videos in which we're going to discuss about something known as closures in JavaScript and it's actually a very interesting topic. So I think we should just let, let's get into it, right? So what happens essentially is that we know, if you know from basic programming how function calls execute, if you have a function, let's just say my function here and you have all that content here. And when you call my function down here, what would happen is that if you have some variables like my variable created here with a value of anything like that and, uh, you know, more code here, you go on. And then once, you're, once you call your function, your function ends, what happens is all the local variables of that function are removed from the memory, from the stack, right? So this is our general programming understanding that when you call a function, a uh, your code executes this particular function. All these variables are created on the stack. And once your function finish, finishes, you get back to where you left your code, right? If you're coming from a C++ or Java background, this would make a lot of sense to you, right? Now, the thing with JavaScript is that it's so flexible, you could actually return functions inside a function, right? So let's see an example. So I have this my function. Let's just name, rename this to maybe like something like a counter, right? And I'm just gonna return um, a function from a function, right? And I'm gonna say that this function just returns me or maybe just says console log, hey, you know, anything, right? So now what happens is when you call this function counter, when you call it, you essentially get another function. So if I do, let's say if I do let my result is a counter that means i got this my result is again another function so i can actually double call it right now this might seem a little bit weird but this is perfectly valid syntax right but what we usually do is we call it in another line so that it kind of like you know does not drive you crazy that you're doing double braces right away right so that's fine but let's actually make our counter a little bit more interesting. So outside this function, I'm gonna, let's just say, create a variable of count. And right here, I'm gonna increment this and just console log this count, right? So what happens now is that when we do let my result is counter, we get this function back, right? And essentially what should happen is that this function when this function is executed it should do an operation of count plus plus and this should console log this now we are not calling this function so nothing is happening but if you think about it when you call this function you're executing the code from top to bottom right you create a count variable you return a function which uses that particular count variable and console logs it and this function particular function ends that means the reference to this local variable should be deleted, right? It's not a global variable, it's a local variable, right? So this should be deleted and hence, if you try to call my result, this code should return us an error or something like, you know, count is not defined, we do not know what count is, right? Because you might think um, this does not really return any error, I'm gonna get to that. You might think this is something like doing something like creating another function, my function two, right and returning something like this right at least this is what i thought when i was you know back in the days learning closures how closures work right so i thought that this code right here and this code right here is similar but it's not it's not because when you're creating this function you are accessing you are able to access the local variables of your main functions as well and why is that? That is because of closures. JavaScript creates a closure of any variable you are using outside your calling function, right? And how do we see that? Well, what we have in here is that if I console.log my result, you're gonna see that we get a function here, but since we want to explode its cons contents, I'm gonna do a console.dir. Now, if we take a quick look here, you're gonna see that inside our scopes, we have something known as closure. 
and this closure contains this count variable right here right so i think that should now make sense so if i call my result a couple of times now you're gonna see that what we get is this function and inside the scopes we have our closure with a count of two so you see what javascript is doing here it's it's preserving the variables which you want which you are expected to use inside your function itself now the obvious question is if i'm making use of a variable let's say my variable which i am not really using inside my function which i return let's say i'm just using it right here for some purpose you know just like that so should this my variable be present inside our closer scope and the answer is pretty much no your closure would contain only the only the variables which you are using but this kind of like doesn't really matter because once you start using my variable it's gonna get into that closure thing right so it does not really matter because you know we just it it's just creating a closure of what you are using in that function right so to summarize what we have seen here is that if you are somehow accessing variable of let's say a function creating counter and it returns a function as well and you're accessing a variable which was created in the main body of the function instead of like throwing up an error that this is not defined this variable right here is copied inside a closure property of javascript which then allows you to access the variables which you should not have been able to access technically because this function call has actually ended right so what we can do is just to summarize this up we could just clean this up a little bit and just return our count from here and what you're gonna see now is that if i console log my result a couple of times here and hit save you're gonna see that we get all our one two three four five but remember you can in no way access this count directly outside this function right this is still a local variable you have not really created a global variable count is not a global variable no there's no way you could just go ahead and do something like this and access it right unless this is returning of returning an object and then you know you just access that property or something but still it's an indirect way so closures allow you to create variables which live beyond their what you would say expected lifespan right and yeah that's pretty much it to closures right so that's all for this video if you liked it don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching i'll see you then in the next one